Just stop me. Just come through the phone right now. I'm stopping. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, you guys, you see what's happening? It's so dry. Hello, hi, welcome back to my channel. This has been happening to me all week, and my face is like completely dry, irritated, lots of just like. I just want to show you. Luckily, thankfully, I go back to the ophthalmologist on this Thursday. So, yeah, I'm going to definitely. She did not put any underneath my eye. The closest to the underneath my eye she did was right here. So, I'm going to insist that she hits me here, here, and here. As well as over here because I'm also getting twitchies over here. And then I'm going to see if she can at least do another round of every other point that she did before. So no, my body isn't getting used to the Botox. I'm only doing the Botox once. What's happening is she's just, I think that because it can't twitch in this area where it originated in this area here, it's moving to my bottom lid. So, which really makes me nervous because then it's like, hmm, if I get it in the bottom lid, is it gonna start twitching like in the other places of on my face? Am I gonna start getting twitches in my cheeks? Am I gonna start getting twitches in my chin and my jaw, like, you know? So, I'm just trying to push through today. So, my plan is to just kind of like go to the store and um, I'm gonna get some pancakes, some gluten-free pancake mix, some gluten-free brownie mix, and some ice cream. And I'm just gonna like have a great day. And I wanna show you guys what I weigh because it's been a, a couple, weeks or videos but I'm really really preoccupied with my face right now and that's what I'm saying when I talk to you guys about like my, my twitching it's not that it hurts me for the most part I can hardly really feel it down on the on the bottom lids like the way that I used to feel it up here I can't really feel it like that it just takes away my peace of mind especially when I like catch it in the mirror and I see that it's like you can totally see it Oh, my face looks really irritated and just dry and just flaky. I need to do a nice exfoliant. Do you see that shit? I don't know. I don't know. Either way, I don't feel it. It's just annoying, you know? It's fucking annoying. So I just, I gotta figure out a way to get my mind to stop, like, focusing so much on this. I'm in a shit mood, not gonna lie to you. It's carnival weekend, I did not go to carnival. All of that, so I'm on a little shitty, shitty, shit, shit mood. Let me just get my little self together. We are about to ride out to Whole Foods. First, I'm gonna hit Starbucks, and I'm gonna get a few things to make a quick little breakfast for myself and my little arrow, and then i probably go to the park for a walk, just because I don't wanna do the gym today, and I have him, he's, by my, he's with me. Um, the other two are with their dad at a basketball tournament in Fort Lauderdale. All right, let's go. Hi, can I have a grande um, cafe misto? Thank you. So I was just thinking to myself, 
I cannot take anything else that is not, I can't eat anything that does not say like gluten free. Because like sometimes I'm twitchy and then sometimes I'm not. So it's like, what's going on? Some days I'm like extremely twitchy and then some days I'm like fine. I don't even need the Botox, you know? So from here on out, I will not eat a single thing that's not labeled gluten free. And if you catch me, bitch, slap me, bitch, okay? See, like this Starbucks coffee, I don't fucking know if gluten-free, if it's, coffee is naturally gluten-free, but like certain shit that's inside of some of the coffees, like not, so, bitch, just slap me. Just come through the phone right now, come slap me. It's gonna be fine. I've, I've, I have pushed past the fact that I'm twitchy. I've accepted it now. So I'm, I'm in a mode of acceptance. So because I can accept it, that's why it's a little bit easier for me to just move through the day at this point. Because it's like, bitch, you're twitchy. What are you going to do about that? Nothing. Just move on. So that's where we are. King Arthur is going to be your best friend if you're looking for like shit that tastes good and gluten free. This is it. So I got this for, to make for us tonight. We're going to do like a little start a little Halloween movie um, night thingy and then I'm gonna go home and make some of this because I am hungry and I've been craving pancakes and I have not been able to make any eat any pancakes so we're gonna do this for me and Errol today either way I'm here I'm surviving it it's whatever let's go we got one more stop thank you So we are gonna make some pancakes, but first I'm going to take my my pills because my face is still going, y'all. Still going. Just don't really want to take the baclofen because it will interfere with the the Botox. So I am gonna take about 30 right now and then 30 later. tried very many brands of um, gluten-free pancake mix but what I will say is that this is going to be the only one that no this is probably the second one I've tried this is the very best it tastes so good it's like sweet and it's just really good I ate all of those pancakes. Did y'all even see how many pancakes it was? It was like five pancakes. So I ate a whole cup of pancakes. So I'm gonna tell you what the calories is in a second, but I didn't eat anything today. And I was, whoa, I was so hungry. I was hungry. So now we're about to go to the store and um, get some lunch for the kids tomorrow for school. And then I gotta do hair, I gotta fold clothes, and I gotta plan out the week. <gasps> Bitch, I'm tired. We're still going, guys. No, we're not. I don't really feel it, unless it's like a big, big, yeah, large yeah. movement. I actually don't feel any of that. I help me. Thank you for helping me so good. Going to take this little kid for a walk. I'm still outside in my no cream. Not gonna lie, I do love being out for a walk, but it is scary. I think I'm getting a little bit of ptosis. What do you guys think? Yeah. Do. I want to dye this little. What do you guys think? Should I dye this little? gray spot that I have growing. That's feel like it ages me. 
good night guys it is the end of the video i'm about to just like i am exhausted i don't even know what time it is so i'm going to clean my skin my face don't feel bad for me y'all don't feel bad for me because let me tell you something i'll be doing shit that no gonna have me twitchy and i still eat it so do not i need to exfoliate y'all see how nasty and just like full of gunk my face looks like I'm ready to get back to my healthiness i'm tired of like living on a whim every day i'm ready to just start getting back into the gym every day i'm ready to just like seriously get myself together put on some of this to clean my skin and i'm just ready you know it's been a couple of it's been like a good two weeks since i left the gym my face started getting uncontrollably twitchy like I said, I can feel the twitches under here, but I, I mean, I can see it, but I can't really feel it. It's just like that mental thing that's happening to me. When we go back to get our Botox, she's going to have to hit me. I want her to re-hit these spots. I don't want her to hit me underneath my eyes on both sides. So I just felt the twitch over here too, so. I'm going to get in the shower. Uh. Oh, I see. Oh my god, my poor hair. My my scalp is like itchy. You see all this hair that I just lost? Look at that. I didn't even comb it. It just came out. I need to wash off his hair and comb it out. I doubt he's gonna do that willingly. I just got too much more shit on my plate than I can bear. And I, I don't even think it's that. I just honestly think that it's like I'm just not managing my time well. I like slept the entire day away. This is how. Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm just like, I'm trying to show you guys the real, the reality of my life right now. My hair is a mess and it is coming out. So far, that's my tally. My hair is just usually like in a nasty, matted bun. I really want to just get my hair braided. Just leave it. Oh, Jesus. Bun or? It feels gross now. Okay. All right, so we're finally combed through. So I did just lose a shit ton of hair, but I'm about to put this on, which is, you can't really see it because this shower is what you call it. The thing that I use to help me. And then I'm gonna um, shave. Oh, I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. I like I do this every night because I don't. That's the problem. But I am, there are some nights that I do. See, look how full this is. I bought this almost a year ago. And this is how full it is. Using something else, you know. It's been a minute since the last time I bought I bought this like maybe I haven't bought this in like a year another thing too with me is that after i wash my hair i usually don't put no moisturizer and that's probably why my hair be looking the way it do it's supposed to be dry and so i think this is going to be the end of the vlog we are about to watch hocus pocus and then it's like 11 o'clock i don't even know why these kids are so late but whatever see you guys tomorrow i know that i typically don't end it so dark but my face is all shiny. I love y'all. I will see you guys tomorrow for the gym or something like that. But this is going to end the vlog. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead. We're about to move it down. Love you.